In today's video, we're going to take a look at the stock Momo. I did have somebody ask if there was a setup in this one currently. So I took a look at it and found that there was a setup where we had uh, what looked like a little bit of a two-step pattern into support back here. But you're late to the party, you know, if you're looking at it now. But you're not so late that you can't look to get in on a pullback. Because ultimately, if we continue to hold above this last low, your potential upside target in this one is 48.92. And what we are seeing now is a little bit of a pullback from the recent high. So what I'm going to do is compare that to some of the prior swings and give you an area to, um, to watch or at least an area that I'm going to stop for a possible entry. So here I'm going to take 100% uh, of these prior declines and project them from the new high. That gives us a couple of uh, levels to look at on that 38 handle. And then I'm also going to run retracements of these two prior swings. And really just going to focus on the ones that overlap symmetry. So the area that I want to consider for a possible buy entry on a pullback is going to come in anywhere around the 3770 to 3853 area. So if we continue to hold underneath this last high and do pull back into this zone, then what I do is I see if it stabilizes above this area. If it does stabilize, I go down to a lower time frame chart and look for a trigger. If I get one, I take the trade and define my risk underneath this zone. And ultimately, I would be looking for, you know, a a shorter term target off of this swing, but the bigger picture target that I would be looking for would come in from this larger swing and it would be at that 4892 area. I would consider myself wrong the setup if we break clearly underneath that 3770 area.